Um, I'm helping Jorn, my brother, with his mask, and it's going to be Bugs Bunny. I'm copied from the picture. Um, I molded the tin foil to his face, and then I drew it from the, I drew, I drew it right on the tin foil. Now I'm cutting it out into the shape. It doesn't look quite like it yet, but I'm getting there. And that's it so far. So I finished cutting it out, and we put little things of tin foil here for the cheeks to make it stick out. And this is what it looks like on the face. And what about the ears? We're going to make the, the ears out of felt after we're done with the after we're done making the mask. Um, after we're done making this part. Um, now I'm going to put casting over it, and we're going to finish it, painting it, and putting a face on stuff. We have Jorn. Getting started, his bug bunny mask made. Bugs bunny mask made. I Great started job. laying the casting. Um, this is all you do. You dip it in the cut. Cut some. And why do you keep it on his face that way? I keep it on the face because um, to keep the shape of the tin foil. Because <clears throat> okay. it's not that thick. So you squeeze it out a little bit, then lay it right on, and it will stick. Just like that. Interesting. So how many layers do you need? Um, maybe about two. It depends on the, like, the thickness of the tinfoil and how big the mask is. No, I mean, how many layers of casting do you need on each spot? On each spot, um... Like, two, like how thick like, is it? Triple thick? Double thick? Uh, maybe, like, double. And you kind of don't have an exact pattern to how you put it on? You just kind of... No, you it. just put it anywhere. Because we want it to be... Because we want it to be strong enough, right? Yeah. You okay. just cover the whole mask and then do it again. Okay. Okay, wonderful. Hi, I'm here painting my mask. Just finishing it up. It's coming out good. You have to put enough paint on to cover, right? Yeah. So you want to make sure you cut, fill in all the little white dots. Yeah. It's very... You have to make sure you're filling everything. So what did you do? First you drew... The eyes and everything yeah. with. Yeah, first you like you. I, I drew it with um permanent marker, permanent marker. and okay. then I just followed the lines. Very good. Now, Tan, what are you gonna do? No, I am. Um, I what is that? This, this is gonna be um his ears. I outlined his ears in pencil. I use using stiffened felt. Okay. Um. This is what we're making the ears out of. Um, it's gray stiffened felt, and what I did was I drew on the ears with with pencil and now I am cutting them out. Now I just I finished cutting out the ears and now I am painting the inside pink. Because the inside of a bunny's ears are pink. And you have to make sure you put in and put on enough paint because the felt really absorbs the paint and it leaves a lot of holes. So you have to really Put a whole bunch of paint on there. Okay. After we were done painting the mask, we let it dry, and then um, we outlined his eyes um, with white fabric paint. We did the inside of his eyes with a black sparkly, and then we outlined his the outside of his mouth, um, his tongue, his teeth, and his, his nose is in fabric paint. Okay. Now... And I also did the same thing with the ears. After I cut them out, I painted the middle pink. And then um, I outlined the pink in pink fabric paint. Now we have to attach the ears. And as you see here, we drew um, little lines on it on the where we want the ears. So make sure we put them in the right spot. And then um, he's going to put the glue on. You want to make sure you put a whole lot of glue so that it sticks. And put it right by the line. Squish it on there. Squish it on there like that. Good. And now we're going to do the other one. You want to make sure you have enough hot glue. Yes, we need another glue stick, but. And then it'll, and when it's done, we'll have two ears. Okay. We just put the, finished putting the ears on, and we put um, a pencil on the back of 
on the back of one so it doesn't um, flop over. And now we are putting the, and before, before we just finish the mask, I just want to, um, to reiterate that um, there are, that we put the, first we did the mask in tin foil, and um, these, we put two little um, lumps of tin foil back here before we put the casting on so that the cheeks would look like they are puffed out. And now we are going to put the elastic on. So I got a big thick piece of elastic right here. Um, I'm going to hot glue it. Put a whole bunch of glue. And I'm going to stick it on there. Real good. Okay. And then I'm going to put it on his face. I'm going to hold it on his face. Come here, Bella. Good. And then we're going to bring it around and we're going to hot glue the other side. Wait. Let's wait until the other side dries a little bit. And then we're going to do the same thing to the other side. I'm just going to put some hot glue on it and, and just glue it. Okay? Just like that, and just hold it for a sec. Just take it off. So I'm going to hold each side for a sec so that it will stick really well. And then that will be and the glue dye mask. And right when the glue, glue dries, we'll put it on, and we'll see exactly what it looks like. But. And this is the finished product of the Bugs Bunny mask. I'm doing.